Hello guys. Hello. Uh, how are you? So my name is Peter Kamore. Yeah, and I'll be taking us through content marketing. The co uh, uh, a topic, uh, content marketing code. So basically I'll be talking about content marketing. Though, uh, though, uh, though, uh, though not content marketing as, as as it's out there because uh, because uh, these are word companies and, uh, and so uh, and so we 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 have to be uh, the, uh, the the topics have, have to be around uh, around uh, websites and WordPress and so I'll be talking more about content marketing in in in, uh, in terms of uh, a website because because uh, having a website is one thing and uh, not having content on it is another uh, a bit about my background. Um, yeah, I, st I started word, uh, using WordPress, I think, like five years ago. Uh, yeah, uh, I, work, I, work at, I work at a company called Digital Unit. I, I, I lead the team. Basically, a digital marketing agency that deals with mostly uh, web, web development, social media, and digital PR. Yeah, so feel free to interrupt me at any point with a, with a question that you might have, uh, either within or, or maybe after the topic or maybe later on. Uh, yep. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then feel free to go to Twitter and 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 and, and post something using the the, the hashtag the hashtag uh, word company Ruby on uh, on all on all platform that that should be uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and yeah, those three majorly. Yeah, I shall start. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, uh, so as 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 I said, I'll be talking about content uh, content marketing, and so uh, it's basically uh, when you when you're developing a website, it could be a website, a blog. Uh, what are the do's and don'ts in terms of coming up with content? Because I think I think uh, how many are web developers or, or rather have have come up with a uh, a website, preferably from WordPress, either either hosted on WordPress or or hosted uh, with other hosting? Kindly by a show of hands. Yeah. So, so, so one thing you will realize is that uh, is that sometimes you uh, you'll be making a, you'll, you'll be creating a website. Then, uh, then you come across this this very beautiful theme. Then, then either you purchase it or you download it. Then, then sometimes you realize after after install after downloading it and installing it, you realize it does not look as as appealing as as how it was on the on the on the on the on the preview. Or you download. How many have experienced that? Yeah. I think uh, and and basically the uh, the main difference is, is usually the content because because normally what what they will do is that uh, uh, before you buy uh, before before you buy or download the theme they will show you a very nice theme with 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 very good images very good content and even when you're going through the demo you you'll see very good content but uh, but then after downloading it and uh, and installing it you realize just just the frame you you don't have much in terms of content and so. Uh, uh, and so you'll be tempted. You'll, you, you'll even be tempted to think that th these people they they like should change to you. They 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 sold you what you what uh, what you uh, didn't want to buy, maybe to download. And so the main difference between the two is, is the content. And so and so they expect you to come to come up with uh, w w with similar creative content as they yes or even much better. Although 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 for most of them, they, uh, especially for the for the premium for the premium ones. They normally give you uh, the uh, the option to the option to to download demo content and upload it on your on the website and, uh, and now customize it, which is which is which makes now your work much easier. Uh, yeah, I have I hope I've not lost anyone so far. If I have, kindly let me know. And um, uh, yeah, so we'll be looking at uh, at content marketing, and uh, and so uh, this this is what we'll cover basically: uh, web content. Uh, what uh, uh, what type? Uh, what uh, what are the different uh, different areas in your website that you need to have content? Then you look at uh, why content, or uh, or rather, why quality content? Why, uh, why should you, why should why should you have 
uh, good co uh, 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 good content that uh, not just having images and text and and and, and videos on the website uh, why is it important to have a good and appealing content to the to, to internet uh, user and then you look at uh, and the common mistakes that we uh, that we make especially when coming up with uh, with with web content then we'll do some uh, a bit of uh, a bit of tips on 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 content creation then then we'll finish so um first uh, first of foremost uh, talking about content uh i'll be referring to to uh, to these four video content graphic content by graphic uh, it's basically basically image content uh, sorry i repeated video it's supposed to be uh, yeah the, the second is supposed to be text content and audio so so we'll be looking at uh, at this at these four types of content text text video audio and graphic uh, in the in the course of the presentation, so there are different uh, there are different areas in your website that you uh, that you need content. It it could be in product product uh, product, uh, product descri uh, description. As assuming you have you're running maybe an an e-commerce website, or uh, or maybe any website that uh, uh, where uh, uh, where you deal with products. Uh, you'll need content for that. It could it could be product images. Could be it could be product description, and so uh, and so uh, uh, and so you will need that on your website. Then the other, uh, the other one could uh, uh, could be uh, uh, FAQs, could be uh, 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 the, 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 the about us content, the mission, the vision content, and so majorly uh, ma majorly about the FAQs and the mission and the vision. It's m it's uh, most of the time it's usually text content, but not limited to that. You uh, you could still have uh, image content or even video content. Where, if maybe you're talking about uh, about us, it could it could be probably an image uh, an image of maybe your 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 workspace, your your colleagues, your uh, uh, maybe maybe you at work doing what you do with services, you doing some of the services. Uh, yeah, then product uh, product uh, product reviews and and testimonials. This one come in handy, especially especially if. Uh, uh, if maybe you've been uh, you've done previous jobs for people and maybe you need uh, you need for the uh, for uh, for their content to be to be, to be on your website you can have that it could be uh, text content it could be it could maybe short short clips of, of them saying how uh, maybe how awesome your service or product is then then lastly uh, uh, then there are, uh, sorry second last is uh, this instructional content this could be probably if if maybe you're selling uh, uh, if it's a software, you could have probably a, a short video uh, explaining what uh, what the software does. Uh, a person like Malco does, uh, famous for uh, M-Pesa uh, plugin, and so you can uh, you can have a short clip uh, explaining what what your service is, especially if it's a new product in the market, especially especially if if most people do not know about your product or service. Then you, uh, then you could have that. It's called the uh, most of it is uh, it could be the how to. Then 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 last but not but but not the least could you could have blog content, especially if uh, if you run a blog or maybe you have a blog section on your website, you could have blog posts. And so uh, and so we look at all these. Uh, if it's product a uh, product a uh, product uh, content uh, about content. Uh, product reviews, uh, instruction videos, or, or even blog. Uh, how how can we make our content to be effective? How can we make our content to be appealing to the uh, to the to the user? Because because uh, because most uh, most likely, if you're visiting a website within the first like three three four five seconds, you uh, you'll know whether uh, whether to continue using the website or maybe to jump onto the next one on the on the on the on the Google search list. Um, and so and so. Uh, the uh, the amount of time a person will stay in your website will be very much dependent on 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 uh, on how your content looks in terms uh, in terms of arranging it in terms of is it appealing in terms of is it is, is, is it just maybe an image you got on the website and you just dumped uh, dumped it there and so it is very 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 important to uh to 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 have content on your website that uh, that is appealing to the intended user of your website uh, they say content is king. Well, and some say, con uh, yeah, some say, uh, yeah, content is king, and some say distribution is queen. And so, the uh, as I said, uh, the type of content that you have 
is uh, is very key in your website. You uh, you'll even uh, rather not uh, not have the website in the first place than have a, a website online with 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 shoddy work, with maybe uh, blurry images, maybe text with 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 very many grammatical errors, and so uh, content uh, really matters. Then. Um, 77% uh, of people check online content before they could purchase. And so if it's, if it's probably, uh, if, if I'm going to a, uh, to a place like Jimmy to buy, to buy a phone, uh, to look for a phone, uh, how the phone looks there on the display uh, uh, would really uh, matter to me if, uh, if, if I'll buy it or not, especially, especially if, uh, uh, if, if maybe it's a new phone or maybe it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a phone, that, uh, it's, it's a phone that, uh, that I've not maybe seen it uh, previously. And so the corner that they put there, whether, whether the image of the phone or maybe the, the description of it, it, re it, really, uh, it will really determine whether I'll purchase it or not. And so, and so for them, having shoddy content, uh, uh, whether, whether text or image, uh, would, uh, would, uh, would either increase their sales or maybe uh, or maybe uh, make people not to buy not to buy the product or or even the service and so are this uh, are this still to, uh, to to make us realize the the importance of having good and quality content on our websites yeah then why quality uh, why quality content um, having quality content helps boost your visibility uh, Having quality content, especially, especially if you have if you have very good images, if you have maybe very good content, it could uh, it it helps to to improve your visibility because things like search engines, uh, search engines like uh, like Google, they uh, they usually rank uh, rank high the the, the, the the website with quality content because uh, because for them they uh, they very much discourage. Uh, Poor content, uh, maybe, maybe with errors, maybe copied content. They should be very much discouraged, and and so they uh, uh, they help to, uh, to 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 optimize the content for those people who have uh, who have good content, who have content that uh, that people will love. Uh, especially, uh, especially you 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 realize if, if maybe you have a very good blog post which uh, which has uh, on a certain topic, and maybe it has. It has very many views and maybe a number of co uh, a number of comments on it. On it, when a person searches uh, searches some something similar to 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 what your topic is for that blog post, your uh, your blog post is is likely to uh, to appear top because uh, because it's what most people uh, most people have viewed, uh, and it has uh, uh, and it relates to people. Uh, people will be commenting on it or maybe liking it, and so it. Uh, 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 Visibility on it, uh, on it, and, uh, and on the general blog post will really be increased. Then, quality content positions you as an expert. This goes without saying. If uh, if if maybe we sell things like things like a laptop, uh, I maybe have a, a a a blog a blog section on the website about about con uh, about about laptops uh, about laptops and maybe daily we we we, we blog about uh, the uh, the newest laptop maybe the new feature about a certain a certain laptop uh, maybe uh, maybe this happened in the in the in the tech world maybe hp did, hp did this with time our readers uh, trust us that uh, that we know more about uh, more about laptops and so if if they need to buy a laptop they will, uh, they would likely come to us to buy a la to buy the laptop because uh, because based on the content that you have uh, that you've been promo uh, that you've been putting there on the blog on the blog page uh, portrays us as as experts and so and so having having content and uh, uh, not just uh, not ju not just content uh, quality content in terms of in terms of uh, its relevance to the topic that you're uh, uh, to, the, to the topic that you're talking about it 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 puts you out there as as the expert in that particular field uh, then uh, content helps you to build relationships, um, especially where, uh, especially with people who blog about, uh, m maybe about things like fitness, uh, things with uh, things to do with life, uh, things to do with, with their personality. It it helps uh, build uh, build relationship with uh, with their audience, and so and so uh, a daily, uh, especially uh, uh, daily, you you. Uh, you you grow with your content uh, with your audience such that at some point even if you fail to 
uh, you fail to, uh, to to put up a post. If maybe you post, uh, you put a post every Friday, then uh, then on one particular Friday you you fail to, and maybe you have uh, uh, you have been a bit con uh, very consistent, then uh, then even a person will be worried why 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 haven't he or she post, uh, posted a post today? Uh, could uh, could he be okay? And then, uh, uh, so you, reala you realize with time you start building build, uh, building relationship with people such that if if it's maybe about f about fitness and maybe you have your people who have been following you next time even if, if, even if you open a gym and call them they would likely uh, uh, come because bec uh, because you have worked with them along uh, uh, for some time on fitness and so and so and so they would uh, they would much much likely come and 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 and. And uh, and get your services. The good thing with quality content is that if you if you put your con uh, your uh, your content to be to be quality and to be consistent, then selling becomes very easy. If you're selling the product after after giving content, it becomes it becomes very easy. Uh, you uh, even reduce your 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 budget on sales, or on on marketing. Sorry. Yeah. Then. Um, Quality content uh, gives uh, gives value to your visitors. It helps them add to their knowledge. Uh, of course, that uh, that goes without, uh, uh, without saying. Then, ah, sorry, I did that. Then, uh, then, uh, then, quality content gets shared oftenly. If you uh, if you come up uh, uh, if you come across a post that uh, that is very good that relates with you or maybe a, a, a very good image. Of of maybe uh, of maybe uh, wild animals or maybe just a quality image on a or a, a maybe a maybe on a blog post, you would much likely to share it, especially uh, especially maybe to a person that you feel would love this content, and and so that uh, uh, that would much likely happen if the content is good because uh, because rarely will uh, will I share uh, content with a person that is. Uh, 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 rarely will I share content with a person that is uh, where they content is 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 showed you maybe the content is 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 duplicated or maybe it's full of errors or maybe it's it's not what I'll consider to be good and so uh, quality content gets your uh, 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 gets uh, get uh, uh, reaches more people because people sh easily share it and so your word will go even to uh, even to more people you just posting it on your blog you'll find it maybe uh, maybe on some blog somewhere or maybe some facebook page or maybe some social media place that uh, that never even posted mm, yeah and so that uh, that's pretty much about uh, quality content this uh, uh, there are very many uh, there are very many advantages of having good content or maybe there are very many good things that come uh, that come with having quality content on your on your blog page on, uh, on your blog post on your on your on your website and even uh, and not just on a website and even just just anywhere if, if you put up quality uh, quality stuff then people really appreciate then we'll look at some of the mistakes that we make when coming up with content uh, and so, uh, some uh, some of the mistakes that uh, that we do, as uh, some of them are mentioned, is uh, is content duplication, where maybe you 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 uh, you are coming up with uh, with a website, and maybe you you realize that uh, you don't uh, uh, you, uh, you you need content for maybe for for about us, uh, the about us page on your website. And maybe you uh, you deal with you s you 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 you're a company that uh, that maybe s uh, offer services, maybe uh, maybe a travel agency. Then you realize ah uh, there's a uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a website I know and they have very good images. Then I can just go and um, uh, maybe take their take their content. Then then maybe bring to the uh, bring to the uh, to my website and maybe change a few things here and there. But then you realize, and then at the end of the day, you never came up with your with your with, with your with, with your content, and so and so most of the time, search engines are able to track that. Especially especially Google, it's it's it, it's able to it's able to uh, to track that, and they can uh, and they can penalize you. The easiest way that, uh, to penalize you is to make sure that uh, 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 that your uh, your your visibility is is as low as possible. When a person such as such as you, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, the it will be very hard for them to find uh, to find your your uh, your page unless they type your your exact URL how how it appears. If, if it's www.blogpost.com, 
then they'll have to type that for, uh, for it, to, uh, for it to, uh, to appear number one on the search results. And so, and so, <coughs> and, and so that's a call to us to, to always strive to, to come up with, uh, with, uh, with our own content and to be very original in it. Then the second mistake that, uh, that sometimes we make is, uh, is, uh, is grammatical mistakes. Those, uh, those some of them, uh, of course, they are, uh, they are very much unintentional. Mm. But then, uh, but then uh, it is very important to proofread. If you come up with a, uh, uh, with, a uh, with a blog post, maybe you come up with uh, maybe uh, maybe read maybe like two or three blog posts in a week. It's uh, it's very important to always to always do proofreading for your uh, for your content. Uh, if you're not sure about uh, uh, about your proofreading, uh, about your proofreading, you can give uh, you, you can give you, you can give it to someone else to to help you proofread to help you uh, probably maybe identify, maybe identify maybe maybe a few grammatical errors or maybe uh, 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 or maybe text that uh, uh, maybe text that is not arranged well or maybe some uh, or maybe things like capital letters where that's uh, where they're supposed to be maybe uh, maybe quoting a person uh, maybe in the wrong way you you're supposed maybe to use some certain way of, uh, of quoting them. And so it's very important to, uh, to, 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 av uh, to avoid such, uh, uh, especially, uh, especially for, uh, for things like, uh, for things like blog, blog posts. Uh, there are even softwares that, uh, that one can use to, to, to check things like spelling mistakes. There is, uh, there is uh, it's called grammar writing. Yeah, you can use that and, and, and other software that, uh, uh, that are there. Some of them are free, some of them are premium. Mm. Yeah, you can make good uh, good use of them to to, uh, to ensure that your uh, to ensure that your text uh, content is is is, is uh, does not have that. Yeah, the, uh, sorry, so I forgot uh, uh, on, on on content duplication. Uh, there's also the issue of uh, of uh, of images of, of sometimes images and videos. Uh, sometimes you uh, you'll feel maybe uh, maybe you have come up with a website uh, uh, a website maybe you need uh, maybe you sell shoes and uh, maybe you have not uh, you, you, you don't have images for for your shoes and so just to go somewhere you just uh, take an image save it on your laptop then uh, then upload it on on your website and sometimes we uh, we uh, we do it uh, without uh, without even uh, thinking whether whether maybe that image is is copyrighted and so uh, and so sometimes it's 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 very important to uh, to to check if uh, is an image uh, is an image copyrighted and if uh, and if it is it's very it's always very important to 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 to, to write your source uh, of the image, uh, whether image or maybe, or maybe you're quoting a person, it's 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 always very important to 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 quote them to 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 name your source. If it's maybe a survey, uh, if if it's maybe a survey, uh, maybe sixty percent of people somewhere do this or, or, or do that, uh, you can indicate where you got that statistic uh, that statistic from, just uh, at the bottom or maybe somewhere on your uh, 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 on your on the on the on the page, then. Then the, th the third one is low, uh, low quality of visual content. Yeah, this is where you 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 you, you sometimes uh, take uh, uh, just post images where um, uh, we, uh, which are not very quality, and so uh, there's uh, there's a thin line between uh, between you having your original content and also that content being quality because some uh, because uh, uh, because because some uh, sometimes the reason uh, the, uh, the reason we will find ourselves posting. Uh, Content, especially uh, especially uh, graphic uh, graphic content uh, from other websites, is because probably we we'll think uh, I don't have a a, a, a a good camera to to take the photos, and so I'll just take them from uh, from a certain website and just post it on mine. Uh, but then sometimes it's, it's it's a matter of sacrifice. You can even get uh, get a person to uh, a photographer to come and do photography for uh, for 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 all your products that uh, that, that that maybe can run for for like a month. Uh, or so, if, uh, if if maybe you're doing it you're doing it for for maybe for social media. Uh, yeah. So on websites, kindly it's uh, kindly ensure that you have quality content, whether whether video, whether images. Ensure that you uh, that your content is 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 up to standard, and also and also ensure that uh, that also is not the, is not very high quality standard, uh, very high quality because it it it, it will then slow down your your your, your website. So uh, most uh, most websites, especially especially if you're, if you're a if you're a, a developer, most uh, most times if you are if you're uploading an image, they normally give you the 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 the, uh, the recommended size. Uh, it it could be width, it could be the length, uh, yeah, may, uh, maybe it could be the size also. 
yeah, those, uh, those sometimes, uh, those sometimes they, uh, there's, uh, there's a way you can adjust that, but also it's, it's very good to ensure that your content, uh, your, your content, especially video, videos and, uh, and images, their quality, and also they're within the, uh, the set uh, boundaries, not, uh, not, very, uh, not low quality, not very high quality to solo down your, your website. Then, uh, then the last one is, is having content, uh, content without a flow. Uh, sometimes you uh, 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 you'll find uh, may, uh, maybe the uh, maybe the uh, the content on your on your homepage it's very catchy it's very it's very good but but then when uh, 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 coming to the other pages you find there's uh, there's some bit of disconnection may, uh, maybe when you're writing maybe the first page you uh, you're very you're very enthusiastic about it you uh, you're on fire about about your new about maybe your new startup, or maybe your, your new business, then coming to other, uh, maybe to uh, maybe to other pages, uh, maybe you're in the, uh, maybe you're in your low moments, and maybe you just posted content that is that is okay content, but not as as good as the first one. And so it's it's very good to to uh, to, uh, to to maintain a flow, especially given the tone of your website, uh, because uh, because each each website should have a tone. Uh, I don't know how to go <coughs> deep in that, but yeah. And so, try as always as possible to to maintain the tone within your website. This maybe it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a happy tone. It's it's a, 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 or maybe you're having a kids. Uh, maybe it's a kids uh, uh, website. Maybe uh, maybe it's a, it's a website for uh, for me for uh, for kindergarten. Maybe that's uh, that's the tone for kids. Uh, maybe a bit of uh, colors. Uh, Everywhere, make sure, uh, make sure that that is uh, 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 that uh, that is across all the uh, all the pages of the of the, of the website. Yep. Um, I'm not sure whether I've left something in mistakes. Mm, yeah, uh, these are just uh, this this are, these are just uh, some of the mistakes that we make. There are very many others on on uh, the, uh, mistakes that we make on content, um, but also. It's uh, just, uh, just and sure you do this and uh, and the others. There are different uh, there are different uh, softwares and programs that you can use to come up with content, both text content, both uh, and even uh, video content, uh, image content. For image content, you can you can use things like Canvas. Uh, you can uh, you, you can you can use things like Photoshop to 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 edit some of the uh, some of the uh, especially graf uh, graphic content. Mm, yeah. To ensure that at least you have you have you have good content on your website. Yeah, then uh, we'll now look at, uh, at 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 content creation tips. What are some of the some of the tips that you can that, that you can borrow uh, uh, when 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 coming up with with content for websites? Just a few of them. Create content that adds value to your product or and your brand. Uh, if if maybe you have a website, uh, if you have maybe a, a, a you blog about about uh, you have a product, uh, uh, sorry, an e-commerce website for beauty products. You can uh, you can have a blog section of uh, of things to do with beauty. You can you can blog about beauty, about hair, about, uh, about uh, generally about be uh, about beauty, and you come up with content that adds adds value to your customers and well, and and also adds value to your brand. Such uh, uh, such that you uh, you blog about beauty, then uh, then a person will uh, uh, would one day now come to buy products from you because uh, uh, because while building your uh, while while adding value to you, uh, to your customers while uh, uh, while uh, making them knowledgeable about beauty, you still, uh, you still tagging along your your your, your brand, but also, as uh, that said, ensure that you don't sell when coming up with the blog content, because uh, bec uh, uh, because a person will uh, 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 will just know if if you're blogging about uh, uh, about certain, uh, about a certain topic, then you try to squeeze in some some aspect of of selling your product in in between, a person will still know and. Uh, and they just know that you are uh, that you are tricking them to reading the blog, so that, you, uh, so, that uh, so that somewhere in between you can sell to them the product. It works sometimes, but uh, but uh, but sometimes it 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 it's, it might not work. And so uh, so the best thing is if you're selling if it's if it's on the on the on the on the on the product list, 
have it there, then it, uh, but if it's on the blog section, kindly ensure that, uh, that it's strictly uh, 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 giving knowledge to, well, providing knowledge to, you, to, you, to, 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 to the readers. Um, yep. The other one is update your content regularly. Uh, kindly don't 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 have stale content on your on your website. Try as much as possible to 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 always update your your content. Not uh, not just the blog page. Uh, the 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 yeah the blog page. You uh, it, it includes even even maybe a, a about as uh, uh, maybe a, a normal. Uh, are normal pages that you have content it uh, it could be it could be vi video content could be text content ensure that ensure that once in a while you you change you 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 change things especially especially it uh, if if it's if it's if it's uh probably you had images of your office and maybe you moved to another office uh, kind of ensure th ensure that ensure that you have uh, uh, that maybe you replace the uh, uh, the former images with now, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with now the new the new uh, the new images. Sometimes you will find uh, a page like the uh, the contact us page. Uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe location had shown that maybe the uh, the this building uh, maybe one year two years down the line you uh, you, uh, you moved somewhere else and maybe you forgot to to even change the 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 the, the, the location. Or maybe use a certain number that was you uh, 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 that was that was you uh, that, you, uh, that was your personal number. Then, then later on you bought a, you 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 got another number that is uh, that is not the office number. And uh, uh, maybe you forget to, to to indicate that. Then with time, your users uh, might get lost. And maybe they are finding your location. Maybe if, uh, maybe they want to contact you. They may not very much reach you. Uh, if maybe you never changed uh, basic things like uh, like a phone number. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, and also things uh, things like blog post. It goes without saying. It's very important to to keep to keep uh, updating your blog regularly. Um, if if you post uh, mayb maybe once a week, at, uh, at least try by by the end of the week. At least you have a post. Uh, you have a post. Uh, you have a post uh, uh, up. Yeah, and of course the ideal is uh, is is ensuring that uh, that you send a post at uh, if it's if, if if it's on 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 Monday at two p.m. You, you you ensure that every Monday at two p.m. you 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 post you post an article. And the good thing about uh, something like WordPress is that you can you can even schedule content, uh, especially for especially for 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 blogs. Uh, yeah, you can you can even come up if, if maybe you do one article every week. You can come up with. With uh, w with four articles uh, at, the at the beginning of the month, then you shed uh, then you schedule the four articles to uh, to 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 post themselves uh, uh, maybe every Monday uh, every first every Monday at two p.m. You can you can easily do that with uh, with with WordPress. Then uh, um, the other tip is creating content with a uh, with a with a conversational tone. Because uh, well, well, we are, we are not robots, and so and so sometimes we we uh, we post content as if uh, well without without having the readers uh, uh, the readers uh, in 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 consideration, because uh, sometimes we, uh, sometimes we uh, we fail to 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 put ourselves in the readers in the readers uh, in the readers uh, uh, from the readers' point of view, and so it's very it's very it's very important to. When, uh, when when writing, especially a blog a blog post, ensure that that uh, that at, uh, uh, at one point you take you take the role of the leader. How how would you take the how uh, how what, what what could be your take in terms uh, in terms of the, the of the of the blog post? W would you even respond to it? Uh, uh, yeah, you can even have things like emojis on it, especially if it's not if, if, if it's not a very formal a very formal uh, uh, article. You could you could have uh, you, 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 you can have those those small uh, elements that uh, that show that uh, that you're actually speaking to a person. Assume that you are having a conversation with a normal well, well, not a normal not a normal person with a person uh, maybe over coffee, such that uh, such that when you're writing a blog post and uh, assume that maybe you uh, you're talking to this person, uh, then uh, then with that they can uh, they can easily relate and uh, and probably be interested to read the the next article. That you come up with, <laughs> then mm, comply with SEO practices. Yeah, 
uh, this uh, this is not a must, but it's very important, especially if you if you want to improve SEO on your website. Um, of course, there are, there are those keywords that uh, that you uh, that uh, that uh, that you would want to to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, that would uh, would relate to 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 your field. Uh, if if maybe you you you, you sell shoes, uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe around Kajiado, uh, then uh, then you could have uh, then you could have that uh, around uh, around your content. It, uh, it could be especially on the, uh, on tags. There's something called tags. Uh, there's uh, the, the, uh, something like uh, like met, uh, like meta description. You can uh, you can have uh, you can try to uh, to incorporate the, those especially on your on your on your on your post or even on your website on your, on 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 on, on, uh, on your website. And so that uh, that helps to increase to increase uh, uh, to make your search, your SEO better. Yeah, for 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 the for the for for just to clarify, SEO means search engine optimization. It is it is what it, it is what matters. Um, it, it is what what helps uh, you to be visible, uh, visible especially uh, especially on on search engines. If a, if a person searches searches something around what you do. Mm, yep. Uh, yeah. I think this 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 brings me to the to the uh, to the end of uh, my presentation about uh, about content marketing. But I, I know the, uh, the number of things that, uh, that I probably have left out. And so uh, the, uh, the whole thing, if uh, the whole thing about, about uh, content is, is at least make sure, uh, maybe the three takeaways that, uh, that, you, could, uh, that you could take away from, uh, from, uh, from, my, uh, from my talk would be, be original, originality. In content, everything, just uh, try, try to be original. Uh, to uh, give quality content, uh, then three is always be always update your content regularly. At least try to review your content. Even if it's just your website, try uh, try to always look at it. What it's uh, you, you 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 could maybe you can maybe even find uh, you uh, you have an uh, an error an error on your page. Maybe a four four maybe a five four error or even or even five three error on your website and so that that is pretty much what i had prepared